Phil Clemens is with us this morning, and Maria Ellenberger, as we talk about kissing a pig. How uh, about that? How about that, indeed? That, that is coming up. The Kiss a Pig contest uh, uh, just held your, uh, uh, what, uh, Maria, it was it was the kickoff event there last week, wasn't it? Yeah, so last week we had an event at Noblestein Brewery to introduce the contestants who are vying to raise the most money and eventually kiss an actual pig at the Indiana County Fair. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it the same pig every year, Lil? Well, as of this year, we're mm-hmm. looking for a new pig because Olivia is having problems getting up to her new transportation. Oh, I understand. And so we have to respect the fact that she has feelings as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're going to miss Olivia, and we'll give a shout-out to her and her owner. So we're actually looking for a new pig, and mm-hmm. we, we may have some iron, irons in the fire, but we aren't sure yet. But if you're out there and you have a pig that's friendly and want to take some photos with us, we do have more events coming up. All right. All right. Yes. That, that's very nice. Very nice. So, so uh, the Kiss a Pig contest is going on right now, and that means that folks will be uh, maybe visiting you, uh, dear listener, to, to talk to you about uh, to support them. Uh, for this very unique contest. Uh, Maria, who are we talking about now? Who I, I know that you you're got a new concept this year, team concept, huh? Yes, yeah, so for the first time ever, um, our contestants are working in pairs. Uh, we thought this was a great opportunity to kind of shake up the formula. Also, if we had a contestant who was maybe not as outgoing, having a partner there I think definitely helps push them to get out and talk to the people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. By the way, I don't know if I said or not, but our conversation this morning is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Now, Lil, no one has ever accused you of being shy. By no means. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, the exact opposite. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. And so, yeah, I'm the one who keeps us all alive and healthy and ready to go and fired up. And mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you, though, we have a fabulous group of uh, candidates this year. And we are as excited this year because we even reached out into other industries. Typically, you know, we hit the financial industries and we're appreciative Uh of them. And those we miss, we're still coming back for you. However, let me just give a shout out. So, you know, First Commonwealth Bank has been with us for a while. In fact, it was Chris Mm -hmm. Adams who won the last year. And let me tell you, he kissed that pig. Chris gets out there, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and and why I think about that last year, I need to give a shout-out to 4-H because Olivia could not come to the fair, although she was at Levity's event, which, um, which uh, Maria will talk about shortly. However, 4-H was there for us and had a friendly little pig that came up on the stage nice. with Joyce Sharman at her command. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And there we had the kiss of pig. So we do need a pig yeah. at the fair, at least. But so we have. But this year from First Commonwealth, we got Larissa Murphy and Aaron Doherty. Mm-hmm. Then we have. Um, and let me go to the normal ones first. Then I'll come back up. S and T Tay Iyer and Brenda Lanetti, both from S and T. We're excited about them. Mm-hmm. And now here's a, an odd combination. We have both Noble Stein and Levity together pairing up to oh, raise yeah? funds. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Luke, you know, Luke McKelvey, everybody knows him as well mm-hmm. as Zach. So we're excited about that team. And then we reached out to Diamond Drug and IRMC. So we, we have Craig Olson and Nate Krieger. Nice. Yes, yes. And then, then one more. Here's my favorite, the attorneys. <laughs> we have Aaron Ludwig from Ludwig, Collie and Tomb, and Katie Haberl Thomas from Haberl, Buell, and Rice, PLLC. Well, how about that? Yeah, okay. so I'm looking forward to it. You Absolutely. know, the ladies just shared there was an event this Saturday at s and So we're going to show up and support our candidates and their agencies just to be a part of the community because it's it's all of us together. There you go. And you even get an ER doc there. I'll tell you what. How about yeah, that? So any medical <laughs> emergencies, we are prepared. <laughs> For the pig. For the pig. <laughs> <laughs> For whomever. But, uh, right, right. Uh, we got the pig taken care of as well. Absolutely. So the actual kissing of the pig will happen at the fair, right? Yeah. So on August 29th, uh, band night, uh, before band night starts at the fair, we'll have all of our contestants there. 
we'll announce our final results and the grand total that we raised. And then the winner, although some might say that seems more like what the loser would do, <laughs> gets to kiss the pig. Uh, we'll take photographs. And then they'll be all over social media and whatnot there you go. to forever remember. There you go, forever remember, <laughs> sure. Um, but uh, you, you mentioned the amount of money that will be raised will go toward Evergreen. So let's talk about Evergreen a little bit. Okay, so some of the uses for the money, uh, we are primarily grant funded. But if anyone deals with grants, you know that there's always limitations and the money only goes so far. So some of the uses for what we're going to fundraise are um, – we always have holiday, end-of-the-year celebrations. Uh, some of our sites have started doing monthly birthday parties to recognize the kids. So these are just fun opportunities that the kids look forward to. We get cupcakes, pizza, a time to kind of sit back and have a little celebration for all their hard work and positive behavior. Uh, we also have some field trips planned to local pools. We've got special treats like the snow cone truck that's going to stop and give all the kids a treat, extra art supplies. We've got some really cool projects that we're going to try out. The kids are even going to dapple in some chalk pastels and fancy paper. Uh, we're also incentives for positive behavior because, of course, we want to reward those kids who are showing up, mm -hmm. um, helping their peers, uh, reflecting good values. Also, coming with this new program year, we're excited to be starting educational opportunity scholarships. So these aren't scholarships in the traditional sense of going to college, but more so if there's an opportunity a kid wants to partake in, even an elementary child, let's say they want to go to soccer camp or um, robotics camp, or maybe they need some extra money to buy a yearbook or even get some more books. Things like that, we'll have them write a little blurb or tell us about it, and we can put money towards that opportunity. Also, we're excited to be starting more social-emotional wellness programs uh, because we realize that although traditional STEM education is important, we are always focused on the well-rounded child. So in the modern age with so many influences, there's a lot going on in kids' lives, so we want to be there to kind of talk about how to deal with anxious situations, how to express yourselves appropriate to your peers, things of that nature. So Evergreen is a, a wonderful organization because it gives kids the opportunity to continue their educational day at the end of school uh, and, and make it fun. Uh, and they learn without even knowing they're learning. <laughs> yeah, that's, <How> about that? <laughs> that's always been our goal uh, because we know that kids aren't always open to here's some more school day after you just sat in school. <laughs> yeah. uh, we also have a summer program. So our approach has always been to take an education or a fun spin on education, a more hands on approach. So you'll find kind of technology building um, in our lessons, some scientific stuff. But, yeah, we're not giving worksheets and um, yeah. tests or anything of that sort. Yeah, yeah. I'd flunk those, too. Um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, for the kids, it, it ends up being a, a wonderful opportunity to continue their education and do so in a fun setting. And, and that's that's the important thing for them is to learn that learning is fun. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's why we're raising funds for Evergreen, and, and uh, that's what Kiss a Pig is all about, Lou. Right. So I was just checking with Maria Last year, we made about 30K plus. We always tried to beat the previous year. Mm -hmm. So we're just looking forward to having fun. And we just aren't just asking for money. There's some really cool events that's coming up that you'll be hearing about. So we look forward to even coming back to give you an update because the leaderboard changes from first to second to third. And I think everybody wants to know who is beating so that they know who to give to. There you go. Yeah, so go. we look forward to calling you back later on, Todd. Sounds like a good plan. Thank it you. Really does. It really does. All right, so for Kiss a Pig right now for the Evergreen After School Club, uh, folks want to learn more about what Evergreen does. Uh, folks want to learn how they can become involved in this and maybe pick out a team and donate too. What should they do, Maria? Okay, so you can always check out our social media. So Facebook, we find a convenient way. Uh, any of our candidates of our, our course accepting donations – we have a Venmo and a PayPal linked to our social media and our website. 
uh, you're welcome to donate that way. Of course, old-fashioned cash and checks are always welcome, too. Uh, we do have another uh, event coming up on July 6th. We're going to be at Levity, uh, so we'll be there a couple hours from about 5 to 8 p.m., and so we're going to have celebrity bartenders. So it's another chance to see all of our contestants up close and personal. They're going to take turns behind the bar serving drinks. They'll all have their donation buckets there trying to raise the most money at that event. We'll also have a band. Danny's Tacos will be in the parking lot. Uh, we're hoping to get a pig there, so photo opportunities. There you go. So great opportunity uh, if anyone's available to come out and support us. I know that our candidates also have some really fun and exciting plans uh, for how they're going to raise the most money. Uh, so look forward to hearing more about those once we get the details. All right. Good plan altogether. All right, ladies, thank you so much for coming in to tell us about it. We'll Our look, pleasure. Look Thank forward you. to the updates as uh, the Kiss a Pig contest is going and going strong. 23 minutes after 9 o'clock, it is Indiana in the morning here on WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. Uh, coming up, the CBS Sports Minute.